guys welcome and welcome back to self-care sundays my name is amanda rujeko if you're joining me for the first time if this is indeed your first time a huge and a warm welcome please subscribe please turn on your notifications so that you are updated every time i upload and please watch my other video in this series as well as all my videos on the channel if you're a returning subscriber thank you so much for tuning in again amanda rujeko wouldn't be if it weren't for you self-care sundays i am going to do a mini vlog in the vlog i'm going to massage exfoliate and moisturize my hands i'm also going to make a healthy drink and pick out some fruit i'm also going to be using johnson's baby oil in my bath water because it's really going to moisturize and soothe my skin this is one of the coldest winters i believe we've had so moisture is at the very top of my priority list when it comes to self-care i hope you're interested in seeing this mini self-care vlog and if you are, then please keep watching. I'm first going to take a bath and I'm going to add some baby oil to my bath water. It's just a couple of drops. It really helps to nourish my skin. Do a little bun. I'm using this for the first time. It was gifted to me by one of my friends who's a tailor slash designer. I'm going to leave her details in the description box and on screen you can place your order if you're interested she is based in harare so just get in touch with her if you're interested in one of these all right so i'm gonna take a bath and i will be right back all right i'm at the bath that was so refreshing my skin is really feeling moisturized i don't think you'll be able to see the effect that the baby oil has on the skin but i definitely can feel it so try it out put a couple of drops of this into your bath water and you will feel the difference. Anyway, let's get into some hand therapy. These hands do so much for me. They work so hard. A lot of things that I do, I do with my hands. So I love taking care of them. You guys really need to try it out. If you don't have an exfoliant, you can just put some sugar and some olive oil. I'm gonna show you what I use to exfoliate my hands these days. I don't know how many bottles of this aqua clear still purified water I purchase a week but I think it's a great idea that they came out with a one liter bottle because it's convenient you can walk around with this as opposed to walking around with a two liter bottle so a 500 ml bottle is just not enough they've got one liter bottles they've got 750 ml bottles and they've also got 500 ml bottles as part of self-care you have to drink water you have to keep your body hydrated from within and it will show up on the outside if you drink enough water let's now get into the hand pampering session i am going to be using the people carry gold face and body scrub it's essentially a body scrub it says you can use it for your face but i don't use it for my face i use it for my hands and body it's got a runny type of texture so i can literally do this and it's got the granules which is the most important part you need something granular and you also need something oily so that's where this baby comes in this is extra virgin olive oil so i'm also going to use this to scrub my hands and i'm going to use it to also moisturize my hands when i'm done i'm going to take about this much so the first thing is to disperse the product all over my hands like this and now that my hands have got the product i'm going to start massaging my left hand using my right hand and i'm just going to gently massage in circular motions i'm not applying too much pressure but you can decide how much pressure you want to put i also read somewhere that it's really important to have your hands in this region so not too high not too low around this area around the area where your heart is i hear it's good for relaxation and then i'm gonna go to the back of my hand and just essentially do the same thing i'm gonna focus on the thumb so i'm going to have it on this side and 
apply a little bit of pressure using my other thumb in this area and then the back of my hand as well using my thumb focusing on this area next up is going to be my fingers so i'm going to start with the thumb just up and down motions and i'm also going to focus on my cuticles and just do the up and down so it's the fingers and the cuticles now I'm just going up and down the entire hand and the back and now I'm gonna do the same thing on this hand okay so I've forgotten to put some of this so I'm just gonna put a bit of olive oil and I'm doing the same type of motions as if I were washing my hands and I'm also gonna go like this and like this So I was late with the olive oil, I forgot, but better late than never. And now I'm going to rinse. If you have long nails, you might consider using a brush to remove the exfoliant because it will get into your nails. So you can use a brush to remove it. I just did, but I didn't film, I'm really sorry about that. So as soon as I rinse my hands. I'm going to immediately, immediately, immediately moisturize them. I'm going to be using the Avon Care Enriching Moisture with Yogurt and Honey Hand Cream. This is for normal to dry skin. About this much. This is a lot more than I would normally use. But because I have just exfoliated my hands, I'm going to be using a little bit more. I'm also going to add a bit of olive oil which I don't normally do. I do it every chance I get, but not all the time. Um, and then I'm just going to first apply it all over my hands and then massage my hands again. Palm of my hand, the back of my hand, the thumb, and then I move on to the fingers and cuticles. But this time around, I'm doing it a little bit faster than when I exfoliated. And when you have long nails, you really need to exfoliate and moisturize your cuticles because it's going to make your nails look nicer when you do that. These hands are loving me right now. You guys should try this. You guys should really try this. Okay, so time now to get out of the bathroom. I will see you guys in the kitchen where I'm gonna be making an avocado drink. Stay tuned. Stay hydrated guys and stay tuned. All right guys, I'm now in the kitchen and I'm gonna make my avocado drink, my avocado smoothie. So I've got this ginormous avocado. I've also got some treacle, 2% low fat milk, water and the blender so i'm going to use half an avocado about two tablespoons of this and i'm going to put probably 100 mils of milk and then the rest water and blend it all up and have a smoothie
Okay, so I'm chilling in the living room right now. I'm watching an omnibus. I'm having my smoothie as well. It tastes so amazing. It has got this nutty um, scent and taste to it. I am loving this drink. You guys have to try it. And if you have tried it or you have a different way of making it, please let me know in the comments. I watched so many um, recipe videos of this avocado smoothie and I see a lot of people have got different ways of making it but everyone seems to put ice but I didn't want to put ice because it's so cold and I'm generally not an icy girl so yeah it's still a chill drink because um, the milk was cold and the water was cold okay so let me watch while I finish my drink and then we head over to the guava tree and pick some guavas and yeah just have some fruit I'm in the mood to be healthy it is self-care Sunday after all so yeah I'll see you guys just now super cold you guys this is a real winter anyway let's go get some guavas so clearly guava season is almost over it's all I managed to get I think I ate three at the tree and these are the ones that I came back in the house with only six Hey guys, I'm back at the couch and I'm having some coffee. It's still hot. I'm about to have some coffee actually. I'm not having coffee, I'm about to have coffee. And I'm having coffee with these cookies that I've just shown you. They're so delicious. Um, I ate these cookies last year during lockdown. We've also got the white chocolate ones and then they've got the mint chocolate ones so there's a whole lot all right i had to go outside for a little bit because it was getting noisy in the house so i'm gonna end this vlog out here i'm gonna have my tea and cookies i'm gonna try my best not to have too many i think i'll try and just keep it at three or four besides we're all gonna eat them like everyone in the house is gonna have some so there's no way i'm gonna have more than three or four <laughs> so anyway i hope you enjoyed the self-care vlog um please do subscribe to my channel if you haven't already and please watch my other content there's quite a lot on the channel that you can indulge in and thank you so much for watching this video i love you guys so so much i will see you in my next video and until then Cheers!